Okay, so this is the centripetal force experiment, and this is the way I rigged it up. Here's my fishing line, and we, we have the camera on a tripod, so um, for the filming later. So what I did here with, with the fishing line is I put it through one rubber stopper, pulled it around, put it through again, so this one is held in place, and then pulled it through the next one, next one, and on the last one I made the knot. And then I put it through the um, pipe, and I made myself markers here at approximately 50 centimeters and approximately 100 centimeters. I will measure that in a moment. I want to avoid using the same radius data that, that you guys have. So I chose different numbers and now I'm going to measure. So I'm going to put the first tape through here. So it's just beneath the pipe. And then I'm going to measure the radius. So I hold it like this here. So tape is right beneath the pipe. And my zero mark, as far as the radius is concerned, is at the center of mass where the rubber stoppers are. And I come up with 53 centimeters for one of the marks. And for the other one, I'm going to come up with 106 centimeters. That one of them is double the other, that's just a co coincidence. I put a couple of loops in here to hold on to the spring scale. And depending on how you hold the spring scale, if you hold it vertically or sideways and, and so on, the zero is just slightly different because the spring either pulls on it or not. In this case, I hold it upside down, so I still have to zero it here. And right now, I got it at zero. All right, now here comes the difficult part, the actual measuring. It would be really difficult if, if you did that totally on your own. Um, of course, I need somebody to hold the camera to, to film me, but he also needs to help me um, with the measurements. What I'm going to do is, I'm, as I'm going to start rotating, is I'm going to measure the average force that I need to exert um, in order to pull the rubber stoppers in to supply the centripetal force to the tension of the fishing line, respectively, I measure the tension in the fishing line. Then. At the same time, I need to count the number of rotations, and Brandon, who is filming for me, has to keep track of the time, and I believe we said 30 seconds. Okay, so, when, and whenever it's convenient for me, that's when I'm going to start counting, and I'm going to give you a heads up when, when I do so. All right. There we go. Okay. It's not totally vertical, is it? It's not totally vertical. It's actually appreciably lower. What do you think what angle that is? How much the angle is? I'd lower? say 30 degrees from perpendicular. 30 degrees from the, you mean from the horizontal? From the horizontal. Yeah, from the horizontal, 30 degrees from the horizontal. Because that actually changes the effective radius for the centripetal force. And of course, it's gravity that's pulling the rubber stoppers down. Um, as I'm turning this here, I can also already take my force measurement, I have to make sure that I don't, that I just hold on to the casing. And my force measurement, it seems like an average of 3.5 newtons. Okay, now I'm going to give you a heads up for when I start the rotations and I'm going to count down, okay? Three, two, one, start. Twenty-seven rotations, and I want to say actually I have an average force about four point zero newtons. Okay, I'm gonna stop this one. Okay, now I'm gonna use the shorter radius. And well, I already measured that to be fifty-three centimeters, so I don't need to do that again. Here we go. Measuring about oh, three point 
nine newtons. Okay, and again, I'm going to give you a heads up here. So, three, two, one, start. say yeah, about 4.0 newtons for this one as well um, I should mention we, we, we still keep filming here for a few more minutes actually I should mention that I put all five rubber stoppers on there and I bought them in such a way that they are close to 20 grams they're actually 21 grams each so I have a total of 105 grams on. okay now I need to go to the other masses and I figure I'm gonna do it this way so I'm gonna cut the last one off and then thread it through the second last one and I might have just cut it off in the wrong place I don't have enough fishing line left filming right and that's fine okay. I just left it like this Okay, so in that way, of course, I changed the radius. I made the short line a little shorter. But of course, my center of mass also changed. Now it's between the, the third and the, and the uh, second rubber stopper. And my radius is 43 centimeters. And I'm just going to take this one, one more measurement. about 3.3 newtons but that may change once I start counting. Okay, I'm gonna give you a heads up again. So three, two, one, start. And actually, I'm at 3.9 newtons for this one. Okay. All right. And then, of course, in the upcoming recording, I'll be evaluating my data. And this one, of course, was 84 grams. And oh yeah, did you did you see um, how by how many by how many degrees it went down as I was rotating this one and the one before? Let me think. It's not as extreme as the first one was. No, I'd say that was just over 10 degrees. Just 10 degrees, this one. And I think the second one was probably also just 10 degrees. About that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you.